Hi everybody, this is Jeff from the CSU Global Library and I'm going to give you a little overview today on how to use the library's website. So I can't show you everything in this one video because the video would be too long because there are a lot of things on here. So what I'm going to focus on is just showing you the most useful aspects of this to get you going. And then there will be other videos that will go into the specifics and more details of each of these things. But I just want to get you just a general overview of how to use the library. So that's what we're going to cover today in this video. So the most popular aspect of the library's website is this search box right here. And what this does, this searches all of our databases at once for articles, ebooks, videos, whatever you're looking for. And one thing to note, we leave the peer reviewed limiter on so that this is by default only going to look for articles from peer reviewed or professional academic journals. Um, sometimes these are referred to as scholarly journals, sometimes peer reviewed. It's a higher level of research journal. If this is left on, it's not going to search any ebooks or videos or newspapers or anything like that. Only It will only search for peer reviewed articles, which is good if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for more than just peer reviewed articles, you would turn this off. And you can just type in a search here. I'll just use one of the searches I had before. You can type in a search here. I'm just going to show you quickly how this works. We won't go into any depth here. There'll be another video that shows you more in depth. And you can just run a search and it will take a few minutes to authenticate here. And then what it's doing is searching all of our databases and we have quite a few of them. And for that topic, it brought back 2,154 articles and, uh, you could access all of those. The full articles will all be there. If you wanted to expand that, you could turn off the peer reviewed, scholarly peer reviewed journal limiter right there. And so it will now search everything. And so now it found 6,546 things. So I'm not going to go too much into detail here because we have another video that shows you specifically how to use this system. I just want to show you, get you into that, show you what that is. And you can also go into it right here. This is usually how I use it. I usually click this advanced search button so that I can start off with more than just one search box that I can search in. I can use all of those search boxes <clears throat> and I can set a lot of different options here. So that's, that's how I use that. I'll get rid of that there. And then also right here, there is a video that shows you in depth how to use this that goes into much more detail. All right. Okay. And again, I'm just going to show you what I think are the most useful aspects of this website just to get you going. So, uh, here's, this is pretty important. If you want to contact us for help, there is a 24 seven chat service. If you click on this, this will launch a box and you can just type this in and librarians will chat with you and answer some basic questions. If you have any more in depth questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Here's our regular library email address. This is my direct phone number right here. You can call me for any help that you need. And here's my direct email. And if you want to get in touch to schedule a consultation or you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help, please just email me and ask me here. We have some other options where you could schedule a consultation. If you go in here to the more help options, it has a lot of the same options, but one of the things it has on here is there's a form you could schedule a research consultation and then one of us would get back in touch with you and help you out. But you could also just send me an email. You can fill this out if you want, but you could also just email me here and I'll set up a consultation with you. Uh, so up here where it was searching all the databases at once, that's, that's a good way to search. But if you want to go into a specific database, uh, you could go in here to databases and you could pick a specific database. Sometimes searching all the databases at once is a little overwhelming and it's going to be searching every kind of database that we would have. Let's say you're just doing business research. Maybe I would go here to B in our list of all the databases and I would choose a specific business database and then I would run searches in it. It works pretty much the same way as the other search boxes searched everything. But now when I'm here, everything is going to just be searching business journals and business publications. And that might be good if that's all that I'm looking for. So from that list, let me go back here to all the databases. We have over a hundred databases. You could look through this list and maybe there's a particular database. Like here's an, this one just does computer research and just looking through here, it might, you might enjoy uh, like checkpoint. This is a 
tax database. This is a nursing database. It could be something in here that, that is more focused for what you're searching for. So you can also search any one of those databases individually. Again, this box searches all of them at once. And it's definitely the most popular way that people will search. But you can search any database that you want individually as well. Let's go back to the home page. Also, you might want to look at ebooks. You might just be looking for online books. You can click here, ebooks. This will bring up specifically our ebook databases. This one right here, ebook collection from EBSCOhost, this is my favorite one. So if you clicked on that, for example, again, it's going to bring up a very similar search, but it's only going to be searching ebooks. And every ebook that it finds, you will have full access to. Okay, there will be other videos again that show you more in depth how to use this. We're just kind of getting you started with this. And then let's close that. What about videos? We have specific video databases as well. And if you clicked on this, you could go in and just look. Again, this search box up here will search for videos too. But if you're specifically just looking for databases, you might want to click that link that I had there and then just go into each one of these specifically will only be videos. And if you have any problems searching any of these databases or if you're having trouble getting access to any of these, get in touch with us and we can help you with that. But you should, if you are set up <clears throat> with access to CSU Global, if you have a CSU Global email address and you're logged into the portal, to be looking at your courses, you should automatically have access to this. If you have any problems, get in touch with me and I can fix that for you. Okay, again, I'm not going to show you everything on here, just the things I think that are that are the most useful. Uh, so this obviously very important to contact us for help if you need any help, any help. And then down here, this is pretty useful. If there is a particular article or a book chapter that you can't get access to through our databases, you might want to order it in specially. So you could go in here to document delivery. And what you would do, I'll just click on this here, request an article. And it's going to bring up a, a different interface for ordering in different materials. And you'll once this loads, you can see all these different things that I've ordered in from other libraries. So these were things I couldn't find access to in our library. And I ordered them in for myself from other libraries. And then other libraries sent these to us, and then it was forwarded to me. This There's no charge for this. And it usually takes, I would plan at least a couple of days, sometimes a week, to get things. So it's great that you can order in things, but you just need to remember if you're going to choose to do that, you're going to have to wait to get them. It is not automatic. Sometimes it comes within a day, but you'll need to plan on that. For that reason, I would recommend you try to use research you have immediately available to you. If you order things in from here, it's great, but you are going to have to wait. And CSU Global has very tight deadlines on your courses. You know how quickly they move. So as long as you're prepared to wait, but just be prepared for that. We send the requests off to other libraries, but then we have to wait for them to send them to us. What you would do if you wanted to create a new request, this will probably come up automatically on yours, but I've ordered so many articles in that it, that, that other screen comes up first. So here you would just put in all the information that you have on uh, what you want to order in, fill in as many of those boxes as you can, and then you just submit it. And then in a few days, you few days, hopefully a few days, sometimes a week, usually in a few days, you'll get an email uh, tell it giving you a link to get that article, and then you can download it. Again, there will never be any charge for that. Let's go back here to the library website. Okay, over here, if you need a little help with APA, you can click on APA resources. This will take you to the Writing Center's webpage. And they have all kinds of resources here that will help you. Uh, with writing as well as there's some plagiarism things down there and you could also get some help there you could schedule an appointment with a writing center consultant who could help you uh, with aspects of writing your paper so that's a quick overview there's a lot more that you'll find on this web page but i just wanted to create a quick intro welcoming welcoming you to csu global and welcoming you to the library and this should get you at least familiar enough to use the library website for the basics. And then we have other more in-depth videos. And in fact, if you go right here to library videos, that will bring up a web page that has a whole bunch of different specific videos that will help you with more detailed descriptions. But I just wanted to do a simple introduction to the library here. So again, this is me. My name is Jeff Wall. I'm the library director here. Don't hesitate to contact me anytime if you need help with anything. All right. And 
Even if it's something that's not related to the library, if you're confused about something and no one else can help you, feel free to get in touch with me and I, I should be able to find the right person for you to talk to if I'm not the right person. All right. Thank you very much.